everyone, this is Jenny Day, and I'm excited today to share with you another exciting thing that we can do with the envelope punch board from Stampin' Up! We know we already can make 66 envelope sizes with it, and we know we can make gift boxes and favors for our table, and now, why don't we work with something that's kind of new, that is bows. How to make pretty bows to add to your cards and projects. You can use DSP, designer series paper, or you can use cardstock. And it changes the look of, of every card. I'll show you some examples of the cards I've made too. But let's get started with some simple measurements on how to make bows. Um, one thing I want to say is that this is a piece of designer series paper cut down, but if you use a whole sheet of 12 by 12 paper, you're going to get 11 bows out of that sheet of paper. You also can go the scrap way and just use your scraps. Now I've got three pieces. Really, it's, it's just really basic to the bow. Cut your strips in one inch pieces. So, for instance, so all the 12 by 12 piece of paper I had, I cut in one inches. The first size you're going to need to do in all this inch size is cut it at six. The second piece is three and a half. And then, and then they're gonna be left with a scrap like this. But I'll show you at the end what we do with this scrap. Okay, now if we're gonna do a bit of punching. It's really easy. So on the one that measures six, you're gonna put it on your envelope punch board and you're gonna line it up with three. Then you're gonna flip it over and you're going to find the three again. <clears throat> so it looks like you have this little bow tie uh, shape. Now you're going to just put it right in the middle, right here. You will notice, I wanted to show you the difference. Depending on where you move it with this little silver piece in here, you'll get a more rounded look or you'll get a more square look. And that changes the look of your bow. Here's a round bow. And then this one, I did both, but you can see that it's square and this one's round. So, for this video, I'm gonna attempt, let's see, see what we can come up with. Or, this will be the rounded, more rounded view. So you put it in, I'm putting it just on the edge of the metal part. And it's more rounded. Okay, if you were to put and line it up with the other side, you'll get the more square looking bow. But you can play with that and you'll you'll get the feel of it as you play with it. Now the next piece is the three and a half, half one. You line it up at one and three fourths. You punch that in the middle, then flip it over and do the same thing. Then you've got a cute little bow looking right there. And then to get these tails, it'll be the bottom of your bow. Stick it just right straight in the middle of your punch board. Punch, and you'll get that cute little tailored tail. Okay, then we'll do it one more time, and then we are done with the punch board. How simple was that? Just a few measurements. Now let's put it, let's assemble it. And you can use your bone folder for this, but I have my scissors handy. So I'm gonna give it a nice curl so it goes the way it wants to. Then you'll only need glue dots for this rest of the step. You just put a glue dot right in the middle and and fold it in on itself. Isn't that cute? Okay. Then you're just going to take another glue dot, stick it in the middle of the one that has the cute tails on it. There you go. And give that a press. The bows came together so fast, but remember we have that one, you can kind of flatten it if you're going to send it in the mail or leave it fluffy, whatever you want to do. We have that one scrap left, just cut a small piece from it. We need one more glue dot. And we're going to glue it to the end of that little piece. And we're going to just wrap it around in the middle. And then you're covering up that little seam. And we are done with a cute little bow. Now, those measurements are real simple and you use scraps of paper. You can make many 
for gifts. This was a storage idea. I had these old storage containers and I just put blue bows on the top. I'll throw my blue bows in there and this is my storage and when I want a bow or say I want to give these for a gift, I'll just put another bow on top and give them for a gift to uh, my stamp clubs or or somebody. So isn't that wonderful? An easy bow with a punch board. Well here's a few ideas for the cards that I made. And here's one in Marina Mist and here's one in the Wisteria. I put a sparkly bow on here. As you can see, I used the uh, snowflake embossing folder for the back of that and the card base is smoky slate. Then I took a piece of whisper white and stamped the back with the main tree which is this fir tree and that's in in the soft sky to show it in the background and then I just stamped wisteria over it to make it pop out put a, a little embellishment there and then your your bow is your pretty embellishment it just really makes a card and here's another example with the blue so I hope you will give this a try with these simple measurements and you can go to jennydaystamps.stampinup.net for more information and if you haven't yet ordered this punch board the item number is 133774 so visit my website and most of all have fun have fun making bows and happy stamping